Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the uh, 18th, uh, 19th series of uh, Pharmaco Economics. Uh, in this video, we are going to see about the cost minimization analysis, cost of illness analysis, budget impact analysis, sensitivity analysis, and Markov modeling. It is part B. Part A is separately available. Kindly go through it also. What is cost utilization analysis? Cost utility analysis is a method used in pharmacoeconomics to compare the costs and health outcomes of different healthcare interventions, including pharmaceutical products. CUA is a specific type of cost effectiveness analysis that incorporates health related quality of life, that is, HRQOL, as a measure of health outcomes. CUA expresses health outcomes in terms of utility values, which are preference based measures that reflects the individual's preferences for different health states. The most commonly used unit for health outcomes in uh, cost utilization analysis is quality adjusted life in years. Quali. The applications of uh, CUA uh, first identify the interventions. Identify the uh, interventions being compared. These could be different medications, treatments, healthcare programs or strategies identify the health states define a set of health states uh, that describe the different conditions or outcomes experienced by the individuals receiving each intervention health states uh, should be mutually exclusive and collectively exhaustive then assign utility values assign the utility values to each health state utility values uh, reflect the preference or value that the individuals place on each health state these values are often obtained through surveys or preference elicitation techniques then calculate the quality multiply the time spent in health state by its corresponding utility value to calculate the qualities qualities provide a way to combine both quantity and quality of life into a single measure estimate the cost identify and quantify all relevant costs associated with each intervention including direct medical costs direct non medical costs and indirect costs then calculate the icer uh, calculate the incremental cost utility ratio by dividing the difference in cost between two interventions by the difference in their qualities icer uh, equal to cost of intervention a minus uh, cost of uh, intervention b divided by quality of intervention A and quality of intervention B. Compare the ICUR to threshold. Usually we have seen ICER. Here we use the term ICUR. Compare the calculated ICUR to a threshold value which represents the minimum amount a society is willing to pay for additional quality. If the ICUR is below the threshold, then the intervention is considered to be cost effective. Then do the sensitivity analysis. Conduct the sensitivity analysis to assess how changes in key assumptions or parameters impact the results. This helps assess the robustness of analysis and its conclusions. Decision rule. Choose the intervention with the lowest ICUR if it falls below the threshold. If multiple interventions are cost effective, the choice may depend on the factors like budget constraints, clinical considerations and patient preferences. Then interpretation. An intervention with a lower ICUR is considered uh, most effective as it uh, provides a greater health benefits per unit of cost considering both uh, quantity and quality of life. Then cost minimization analysis. Cost minimization analysis is a method used in pharmacoeconomics to compare the cost of different healthcare interventions specifically focusing on interventions uh, that have equivalent clinical outcomes. In other words, CMA is conducted when two or more interventions are expected to produce the same therapeutic effect or clinical outcome and the primary objective is to determine whether uh, which intervention is least expensive. Unlike other economic evaluation methods like cost effectiveness analysis or cost utility analysis, CMA does not involve comparing the clinical outcomes or health benefits. So how uh, CMA is applied? First identify the interventions identify the interventions being compared these intervention uh, intervention should be should have equivalent uh, clinical efficacy safety and therapeutic outcomes identify the cause 
identify and quantify all relevant costs associated with each intervention. These costs include direct medical costs, direct non-medical costs, indirect costs. Then calculate the total cost. Calculate the total cost for each intervention by summing up all the relevant cost components. Then compare the total costs. Compare the total cost of the interventions. The interventions with the lowest total cost is considered the most cost effective in terms of minimizing the expenses. Then sensitivity analysis. Conduct sensitivity analysis to assess how changes in the key assumptions or parameters impact the results. This helps assess the robustness of analysis and its conclusions. Then decision rule. Choose the intervention with the lowest total cost. Since the interventions are expected to have equivalent clinical outcomes, the decision is based solely on the cost considerations. Interpretation. An intervention that occurs at the least total cost is considered the most cost effective under assumption of equivalent clinical outcomes. Next is cost of illness analysis, CIA, COA or CIA. Cost of illness analysis is a method used in pharmacoeconomics to estimate the total economic burden associated with a specific disease or health condition. COI analysis aims to quantify both direct and indirect costs related to the illness, providing a comprehensive understanding of the economic impact of individuals, healthcare systems, and society as a whole. This analysis helps policymakers healthcare providers and researchers assess the financial implications of a particular disease and allocate resources effectively. How COA is applied? Define the disease. Clearly define the disease or health condition under investigation including its scope, prevalence and impact on affected individuals. Then identify and quantify the cause. Identify all the relevant medical costs that is healthcare services, medications, hospitalizations, doctor visits, etc. Direct non-medical costs such as uh, transportation, accommodation and indirect costs such as uh, productivity losses due to morbidity or premature mortality associated with the disease. Then data collection. Collect the data from uh, various uh, sources including healthcare databases, medical records, surveys and administrative databases to quantify the identified costs. Then calculate the total cost. Sum up the direct and indirect total cost to calculate the total economic burden of the disease for a specific time period, for example, a year. Then population estimates. Estimate the number of individuals affected by the disease to extrapolate the total economic burden to the entire population. Then do sensitivity analysis. Conduct sensitivity analysis to assess how changes in Key assumptions or parameters impact the results. Interpretation The COI analysis uh, provides a comprehensive estimate of the economic burden associated with the disease. It helps stakeholders understand the scale of financial impact on individuals, families, healthcare systems, and society as a whole. Uses of COI Resource allocation COI analysis uh, helps policymakers allocate resources efficiently are effectively by prioritizing diseases or health conditions with the highest economic burden. Then advocacy and awareness. It can be used to raise awareness about the economic consequences of a disease and advocate for increased funding or for research and treatment. Then economic impact. The cost of illness analysis provides insights into economic consequences of a disease on both healthcare systems and the broader economy. Then evaluation of interventions. By quantifying the cost of a disease, the cost of illness analysis can be used to evaluate the cost effectiveness of interventions or preventive measures. Budget impact analysis. What is budget impact analysis? Budget impact analysis is a method used in pharmacoeconomics to assess the financial impact of adopting a new healthcare intervention such as pharmaceutical product within a specific healthcare system or budget. BIA focuses on estimating the potential changes in the healthcare expenditures that would result from the introduction of the intervention. Unlike other uh, economic evaluation methods that compare the costs and benefits, BIA provides uh, information about the short term financial consequences of uh, incorporating a new intervention into the existing healthcare budget. 
how BIA is uh, applied. Uh, identify the interventions first. Identify the interventions or pharmaceutical products being considered for adoption within the healthcare system. Estimate the population and usage. Estimate the number of patients or individuals who would potentially receive the intervention and expected frequency and duration of usage. Then estimate the cost. Identify and quantify all relevant uh, costs associated with the intervention, including direct medical costs, direct uh, non medical costs, and indirect costs. Then calculate the total cost. You calculate the total cost associated with uh, implementing the intervention uh, over a specific period of time, for example, a year, compared to the current budget. Compare the total cost of implementing the intervention to the current budget available for healthcare expenditures. Project budget impact. Estimate uh, the increase or decrease in the healthcare expenditures that would result uh, from adopting the intervention. This could involve uh, projecting additional costs or potential cost savings. Then sensitivity analysis. Conduct sensitivity analysis to assess how changes in key assumptions or parameters impact the budget impact estimates. Decision making. Decision makers uh, can use the budget impact analysis to assess whether the healthcare system has the financial capacity to absorb the additional costs associated with the new intervention. Then the interpretation. The budget impact analysis provides information about the short term financial implications of uh, introducing a new intervention. It does not take into account a long term clinical benefits or cost effectiveness. Next is sensitivity analysis. A sensitivity analysis is a crucial component of pharmacoeconomic modeling that assesses how changes in key variables, parameters, and assumptions impact the results of economic evaluations. It helps to evaluate the robustness of the conclusions drawn from a model by testing the model's sensitivity to different scenarios. Sensitivity analysis provides insights into the potential uncertainties and variability associated with the input parameters, allowing decision makers to better understand the potential range of outcomes and make informed decisions. How sensitivity analysis is applied? First, identify the key parameters. Identify the parameters, variables, and assumptions that have the greatest impact on, on the model's results. These include costs, probabilities, utility values, discount rates, and other relevant inputs. Vary parameters. Vary the identified parameters over a plausible range of values. This involves changing one or more parameters at a time while keeping the other inputs constant. Calculate the impact. Calculate the impact of a parameter variation on the model's outcomes such as cost outcomes, example qualities, and incremental cost effectiveness ratios, ICERs. Then graphical representation. Sensitivity analysis are often presented graphically uh, through tornado diagrams, spider plots, or cost effectiveness acceptability curves. These visualizations show how changes in uh, specific parameters affect the model's results. Interpretation Analyze the sensitivity analysis results to understand which parameters or assumptions have the most significant influence on the model's outcomes. This helps identify the areas of uncertainty and informs decision making. Next is Markov modeling. What is Markov modeling? Markov modeling is a widely used analytical technique in pharmacoeconomics and health economics to stimulate the progression of individuals through different health states over time. It's particularly useful for modeling chronic diseases or conditions that involve multiple stages or states with different associated costs, health outcomes, and transition probabilities. Markov model uh, was named after uh, Andrey Markov, a Russian mathematician who pioneered the theory of stochastic processes. A Markov model, uh, in, the, in this model, the individuals move between different health states, that is healthy, disease stage 1, disease stage 2, and so on, and pro proceed to death in discrete time steps, often referred to as cycles. The model uses transition probabilities to determine the likelihood of moving from one state to another state uh, during each cycle. The structure of the model and the values of transition probabilities 
are typically informed by clinical data, epidemiological studies, expert opinions, and real-world evidence. How it is applied Markov modeling? First, identify the health states. These represent the different stages of a disease, health condition, or treatment. Each health state is associated with a specific cause, health outcomes, and transition probabilities. Then transition probabilities. These probabilities represent the likelihood of moving from one health state to another in a single cycle. Transition probabilities uh, can be based on data from clinical trials, observational studies, expert consensus, or other sources. Then cycle length. The time interval for which the transitions are calculated, example monthly or yearly, the choice of the cycle length depends on the disease and the data available. Then costs and utilities. Each health state is associated with a particular cost for a direct cost, a medical cost and non-medical cost and utilities that is the quality of life weights uh, that uh, reflect the impact of uh, the health state on the individual's well-being. Then discounting. Markov models often incorporate uh, discounting to account uh, for time value of money as the future costs and benefits are typically less valuable than the present ones. Then model outputs. Markov models uh, generate outputs such as life of years gained, quality of uh, life adjusted years, costs and incremental cost effectiveness ratios that provides insights into the economic and health outcomes of different interventions or treatments. Drug utilization studies in pharmacoeconomics. Drug utilization studies play a significant role in uh, pharmacoeconomics by providing valuable insights into how medications are prescribed, dispensed and used in real world clinical practice. It takes into account the medication costs, quality of care assessment, treatment adherence analysis, treatment pattern and sequential therapy, real world effectiveness, evidence based medicine, long term treatment costs and budget impact analysis. In summary, drug utilization studies serve as a critical link between the clinical practice and pharmacoeconomics. So it's a very short information of uh, all the models which are used in pharmacoeconomics. I hope uh, it will be useful for you. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. Kindly subscribe to our Pharma Topics channel. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. Kindly go through all the series of videos which is available in the playlist Clinical Research and Pharmaco Vigilance in the Pharma Topics channel. Thank you.